Hey, what's up everybody? It's Don. And today, well, today we are going to be taking a look at a possible solution to one of virtual reality's biggest problems right now, and that's artificial locomotion. That's right. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Agile VR system from Mechatech Limited. And I can't thank those guys enough for sending this my way. I, I've been really interested in these systems lately. So what is it? Well, it's like an exoskeleton, exosuit. It's a, it's a set of sensors you strap to your legs. But what does it do for you? Well, it allows you to move naturally through virtual reality environments. And when I say naturally, I mean walking in place. You can walk forward, you can walk backward, you can jump, you can crouch, you can strafe. So I think that might be enough to help trick people's brains into thinking that they're actually moving in VR. Not only increasing the immersion and the presence that you feel, but hopefully reducing the sickness. Now, we all know there's still two different camps in the VR user base, and that's people like me who have been in it a long time. I am completely immune to motion sickness in VR. You can twist me, twirl me, dump me, I can run at doom speeds and crouch and jump, you know, with artificial locomotion. None of that gets me sick. Then you got people like my wife, Stacy, and man, bless her heart, I put her in VR sometimes, and if I forget to set it back to teleport, because you guys know I hate that, she pushes the stick, and man, within minutes, she can get sick. So I can't wait to get it set up. I can't wait to take you guys with me while I do. So let's get it unboxed, and let's check out Agile VR. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at the package and then we're going to go ahead and get this thing unboxed and set up. So first and foremost, packaging looks nice. It's got a nice retail look to it. Uh, definitely got some weight, some heft there so you know there's something substantial in the box. Uh, you got the uh, descriptor and the contents here. So uh, descriptor Agile VR, simulate your senses with lower body physical immersion within virtual reality. Embrace our new Agile VR technology and I'm about to embrace it. Uh, you got the contents here, um, it's got the Agile VR, you've got a 5 meter USB-C to USB-A cable, which unfortunately is not USB 3.0, because I was thinking maybe I could double it for a, a little Quest Link testing. Uh, you got two cable management clips, you got the two Velcro cable straps, and then you got their nice descriptor here. Uh, Agile VR is a revolutionary exoskeleton device which allows natural user movements to control movement and interactions within virtual reality. A sophisticated array of sensors worn on the body allows movements like walking, running, turning, and jumping on the spot to be translated into virtual character motion. This vastly increases the level of immersion that is experienced by the user and VR locomotion feels very intuitive. The device is connected with a 5, mil, uh, five meter USB-C cable included and can fit most adults with a straightforward adjustment of the elastic straps. It is easy to set up and use. So we're going to put that to the test right now. So, all right, let's go ahead and uh, slide the outer sleeve off here. Go ahead and set that aside and take a look at what's in the box. So, right off the bat in the box, you see we've got our instruction manual here. Um, we've got the, uh, the cable clips, uh, which just kind of fell out there. Uh, we've got the, uh, the, the five meter USB-C cable. Um, man, I wish that was 3.0. The device itself, let's see, let's go ahead and take that out. There we go. We have got it. And I gotta tell you, it feels good and sturdy. You, you've got the nice padding there, so all of that feels great. Um, and you've got the harnesses, which are a nice stretchy elastic there. So I can't wait to get this thing set up on the PC side, get it all uh, you know, set up on me, and uh, get in there and test it. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive into the instructions and get this all set up. So first and foremost, we've already verified the contents of the box. Everything's in there, everything's looking good. So we're on to step one here, which is to insert the USB-C cable into the device. 
So got my USB-C cable right here. We've got the device here. Uh, you can see there are two little inlet ports. One of them has nothing. One of them has the USB-C, so you find that one. Now, speaking of the inlet ports, I, you know, I'm no designer by any means, but the first thing that struck me as kind of strange is that there's no actual cable port or anything on the outside. This actually seems to just kind of clip up in here on the inside and, and it's a little cumbersome to get it in there um, and then it just kind of rests against the foam so you know Megatech you might consider like putting a dedicated channel for this cord to go down into because that doesn't feel very sturdy there um, but maybe it's by design maybe that holds the cable in place I would think that as, as, as it shifts, you have like wear on the cable. So eh, it's just my two cents. So step two is to do the strap adjustments. Now it does say right here, they do recommend doing that seated. So I'm seated, let's get the straps adjusted. So we've got the PC side buttoned up, got the software installed there, um, and uh, now it is time to test it out. Now, as you guys probably just saw in a quick little montage there, I have spent hours and hours and hours tweaking little settings right here just to get this perfect. So, you know, is, is this a device that I'm going to recommend for people who just want to plug it in and have it work? No. You're, you're going to have to spend some time calibrating it and getting it just right for you. But once you do, I, I, I do feel like I've finally got the right settings here dialed in. So let's go ahead and see if they work. For me okay okay there we go just barely creeping just barely creeping and you can see it's just just barely bouncing there now okay I'll just walk at a normal pace and you can see the ball is just bounce 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 it's right there with my footsteps so now let's like pick up the pace I'm jogging and yeah okay so I mean at least momentum wise and forward momentum everything seems to be working fine so uh, let's see if it does the other things. Okay, there we go. Strafe. There we go. So you see, it's still a little hesitation there, but you know, I can live with that because I, I gotta tell you, I, the only thing I'm really interested in with this is just the ability to to walk forward. It, you know, with, with the pulley system I have, I, I can spin in a circle. I'm not worried about that. Now, this being wired, it, that does kind of concern me. Like, I'm already feeling like I'm getting kind of wrapped up on the cord here. But, uh, you know, overall, I can say if you've got the patience, I've got it dialed in there. It seems to be tracking good. Let's go test that in some real world games.
All right, so there you have a couple snippets of gameplay with the Agile VR, and now I think it's time for me to give my final thoughts. And so anyway, in a nutshell, is the Agile VR cool? Yes, absolutely. I, I mean, I, I can't thank Mechatech enough for sending this my way once again. I mean, th this is cool stuff. This is like bleeding edge, you know, VR tech at this point. And, the, the question is, is, is it cool enough for you to go throw down your dollars on right now? And, you know, I, I unfortunately, man, and it's with a heavy heart, I've got to say no. Uh, it, it's just not ready yet. It, it is still a little cumbersome. It is, it is time consuming to get it dialed in. It's not plug and play friendly. And, I, you know, to be honest, you guys haven't seen the Rift on my channel a lot lately, and that's not because I don't love it. I, I love my Rift, don't get me wrong. It's just, you know, I, I've really been enjoying my Pimax headset, my wide field of view, especially my AKX prototype with the 4K per eye, and I was kind of bummed. I couldn't use any other headsets with this. Uh, I tried it with my Pimax 5K. I tried it with my Pimax 8KX. I tried it with my Reverb. Uh, nothing else seemed to work other than my Oculus Rift. So, you know, hopefully that's gonna get fixed. They, they tried to send me new software. It, it just didn't work out. So lots of pros, lots of cons, a, lot, a little more cons than pros, but when it worked, it was cool. Man, I was walking through the holodeck, and like I said, I can't thank Mechatech enough for giving me that experience. Now, one other cool thing is, is that I got an email from Jack over at Mechatech, and they are not done here, guys. They, they are about to take this to Kickstarter. Uh, they're gonna retool everything, so it's not gonna be as cumbersome. They're gonna make it wireless, so they're gonna get rid of the leash here. Um, you know, other cool things to come with that uh, new manufacturing. So, and hopefully get those costs down because right now it is, if you want to buy it, in my opinion, also quite a bit pricey for what you're getting. I mean, as you see here from their website, that translated into US dollars is like 450 bucks, guys. So more than the price of a headset to be able to walk through those environments. Now, um, the one thing I did find really useful in this device, and I do have to mention that before we wrap this up, is the fitness potential in it. Okay, so you guys know I ran that fitness series. I, I've obviously put the pounds back on, so I probably need to do that again, right? Well, something like this is gonna help a lot with that because man, I got that really got me breathing heavy. I mean, I am like jogging and running through these environments and I've always had this crazy idea all the way back to the DK2 days that I wanted to jog through Skyrim. So, and Skyrim is one of the games that works with this. So I'm gonna finally be able to do that. So anyway, that's it for me guys. Thank you so much for watching to the end of this video, if you did. Now, if you do want one of these, I am gonna throw links for all of this down in the description. I'm gonna put a much, much more detailed review uh, of my thoughts and everything in that description as well. So if you, if you like to read, go, go down there. But uh, for me, that's going to do it. Thanks again for coming by, and I will see you guys in the next one. This is Don, signing off.